Good morning, everyone. Ha! Ah, second week of January already. Sometimes it, time flies so quickly and I go, wow, wasn't it just December? But anyway, I won't digress. But welcome, everyone. I know this year doesn't seem much brighter than last year, but it will get better because we're going to trust. We're going to trust in God and trust in ourselves that this too will change and God is in charge and that yes all things happen in divine time and and us as humans want things to happen right now but know that God is in the midst of it and things will get better there are medical advances there are vaccines there are all kinds of things going on and some people don't believe in the vaccine like what difference is it going to make and the others don't want the mask but you know if we trust and have faith we'll do what we need to do each of us will do what needs to be to do to heal our world whatever we do to collectively care for one another Whatever your choice may be, we will heal our world. Trust, if you look in the dictionary, means a firm belief in the reliability or truth or ability or strength of someone or something. And that's what I'm asking us to do today, to just trust. Trust that if you choose to take the vaccine, it will work. Trust that if you choose to do something else, it will work. Trust that even though the politics is all over the place right now, trust that democracy will take place and, and all of us collectively will be a part of changing this world and making it better than it was before. And so before I go into our prayer, I'll talk a little bit about the themes for unity this year are the 12 powers. And if you've been following my talks, I've mentioned before that I will talk about the 12 powers. So not nicely, they're doing the 12 powers. So each month we will delve into the meaning of, of 12 powers and I'll give it a different spin. Those who have been around unity along has heard a lot about it, but I'll bring us all into what is going on now and how it works for us because we call these powers tools tools of power for everyday life to enrich us and to empower us so as we go into our talk let's open in prayer so take a deep breath in ah universal spirit god we send continual healings and prayers and light to all those in need. Doctors, nurses, caregivers, family members, friends, co-workers, those in hospitals, those in shut in, all those in need of prayer. We send healing light to you. We looked into our hearts and delve into our hearts and we expand the energy of healing light out into our world to all people to move us from suffering and sadness to joy and love and peace for even in the midst of this pandemic god we know there is love there is joy there is healing for in this infinite moment all is perfect, whole, and complete. The one power, the one presence expresses in every moment, in every day, in every breath that we each take. So trust in the presence of God. And we trust in the presence of God right now in the power of God that is flowing through each and every one of us. We trust in the healing life and that is mighty in the midst of us. We trust in the light shining before us, making plain our way. We trust in God's love to heal all tension, to relieve all distress, to ease all pain. Father, we trust in your spirit to transform our world and each and every one of us 
and to bless the lives of all of us and our loved ones. We trust in the good and in the almighty power of prayer. Father, we trust in you in all things and throughout each and every day. For from the one power comes all answers, all resources, all opportunities, all solutions, all creativity, and all healing. For as we trust in God, we release all doubt, knowing that divine order is always unfolding for our highest good and all truly is well in our world. Amen. Amen. Ah, I pray everyone is feeling good today and had a good week and this is the last day of my supposed vacation from work. I've had to work a few times but I'll step right back into the realm of all of it and fly on faith. So that leads into my the song that we're going to share. And I love this song and I've shared it with you a few times called Flying on Faith. The, the theme is faith and I'm going to focus and say more about trust, but I call trust and faith. I interchange them all the time. So listen to this song and have some fun with it. Flying on faith. I love that song. I'm always bumping in my chair, as I've told you before. Flying on faith. And that's what we need today and every day to fly on faith, to trust in God, to know things are going to get better. As I said before, trust means a firm belief 
in the ability or strength of something or someone so have faith and trust in yourself and in the medical communities to help us to get through what we're going through in our world because no matter what comes our way when we trust in God in all the invisibleness of God we gain so much more in our lives in our purpose for our life because we open ourselves up to so many miracles and wonderful things. Um, I shared last week about how I got my house. You know, I wanted this house and thought about getting this house years ago. And I remember it was about eight or nine years ago, I really wanted to get a house in the United States because I can get a bigger house and you know, all of these things. And, I, and it didn't happen. Nine years later, I have my dream home here. So many things worked out with the amount I had to pay, things that fell into place, all the things that fell in, because I trusted, I didn't stop believing, I had faith that it will take place in divine order, and it did. So what does faith mean when our revealing word, um, written by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity, he talks about faith, which is the uh, power for this month, which I interchange with trust, as I said. He says it's the perceiving power of our mind leaked with the power to shape substance. That means that we have the power in our minds to create and manifest all that we desire in our lives. We have the power to do that. And with spiritual assurance, we have the power to do the seemingly impossible. Look at that. We can dream, like last week we did the burning bowl service, and I said dream big, write in something in your letter to God, something that you really want, and even if it thinks like it's out of reach, and it's never going to happen, keep, I don't know what's happening with my speaker, so I'm going to unplug it, I don't know why it's beeping today, so hopefully you won't do that, so sorry for the interruption. And I was talking about faith and continue with the meaning of faith. It Faith it has a magnetic power that draws to us all our heart's desires. It's that wonderful, invisible substance. You know, I'm sorry, I'm going to put it outside the door because I don't know why it's beeping. And I've turned it, okay, I turned it off now. I guess it just wanted to let us know that we're still here and alive and alert and well, right? Beep, beep. Here we are. We wake up when somebody blows our horn, right? So I'll get back. I will digress. Continuing again with the meaning of faith. Faith, this is my favorite part of it, is a deep inner knowing that that which is sought is already ours for the taking. With faith, with trust in knowing God, know, we know that all that we are seeking is already ours to take. If we just open our hearts and our minds, believing, imagining, and, and getting the energy and the feeling of it into our souls and our minds, it is ours. As our favorite verse says in Hebrew 11, 1, and many of us know it, you can say it with me now, faith is the assurance of things hoped for. So have faith and trust. Now, I briefly I will share uh, Myrtle Fillmore. She's a co-founder of the Unity Movement. I would say she was a founder because her husband kind of tied on to what she was doing. She had the strongest faith, and I'll just give a synopsis, and believed in prayer, that prayer works, and, and she had a powerful knowing within her. And she was very, very ill, and um, of course, in those days, this is the 1800s, you didn't live long if because um, you didn't have the medical abilities that we have right now. can't remember what she had. Um, but she set up a prayer network every... Um, I think it was every day she had a certain time when she prayed. I know I can get all the details and I'll share it another time, but I just want to give a synopsis. 
and she prayed and she collectively prayed with other people and back in the 1800s it was harder to connect with people we got social media hey everybody i want to pray right now meet me online at two o'clock and we're there but back then it was horses and buggies and all those things but she was able to get people online to listen in or just pray in their homes at the same time and they prayed for healing and the healing light of, of God to heal her and to heal them so each person can do the work that they need to do and she was healed she healed herself back in the 1800s where she truly believed and she had faith and she trusted in the power of God so there is a synopsis of a belief system of uh, trusting in God that really manifested wonderful good. So trusting God. And when we really trust in God, our lives are transformed and enriched. Think about it. Look how our life changed. She lived to later in life where she was told she would die a lot younger back in the 1800s. Um, your life will become transformed when you trust and believe in God that all things are possible that you can get through. And yes, the pandemic's gone and many people are dying. And yes, they might trust and have all of these things. They're still passing. But, you know, God works in mysterious ways and I can't answer the answer. I don't have an answer for it. And none of us for ways certain things happen. But I will never stop believing, having faith and trusting in God. And when we trust, we don't worry about the past, the present or the future. What's going to happen next? Um, all our matters are put to God and we are uplifted and strengthened by that trust. You know, when we trust in God and we have a meeting or interview or anything that's going on live and we, with God, we have the confidence and the courage to do what we need to do. This is all about a trust. And in the funniest scenario, um, I was watching a, a little family show called Good Witch. It's been out for a long time. It was an episode this week. And the mayor, she's bold and annoyingly good. She's always looking out for the good. But boy, is she annoying sometimes. Um, into everybody's business. Well, she was one of those people and they asked her to do a TV interview and, and the lady beside her was being interviewed also says, how, how could you stay so calm? And she's, oh, girl, I trust myself. I can do anything. And, and, and oh, you know, bold. And then she got in front of the camera and she froze. I was cracking up loud. Up, uh, up uh, was all that she was saying. To me, she needed a little bit more trust in God. Yes, she trusted in herself. But we need that extra oomph, that extra energy to get us through different things because I've had interviews and sometimes I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. But I allow God to come speak through me to say what I say. Each Sunday I'm here and I write notes and write all this stuff. But I'm not reading it to you. I'm trusting the process that God is guiding me to say what needs to be said to each and every one of you each week. So trusting God, he will take care of God. The presence of God from within us will take care of all our business, all that we need. He's in charge and can transform all our feelings and concerns into positive ones. She got stuck, but each of us can keep moving forward, just like in this world. If we start being more positive about the science and the medical, or however feeds our soul, we will get through this. When we trust in God, we know that our needs will be met, that our uh, um, people will be healed. Not all of us, as we can see, but keep trusting don't lose the faith but keep trusting for god will take care of us and bring us peace even in the midst of sorrow i think about my aunt yvonne right now um she had the funeral and um and i was like oh man i'm not getting to the funeral but my brother 
got it all videoed and I was able to watch the funeral from here and share it and it was a beautiful service. She's my um, stepmother's sister and Anivan was wonderful spirit. She said what she had to say, um, calmly quiet, I never, I never around it that much but a beautiful spirit. And she trusted in God and, and Earl and all the sisters, they trust in God too. And, and um, Earl and my stepmother's birthday was the next day and I called her and she was happy and stuff. But yes, she said that her sisters passed, but there, there's a strong trust in God and knowing of God and faith in God that gets them through. And that's what I call trust. As it says in Psalm 112 verse 7, his heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. So place your trust in God and your life will be transformed. The other part about trust, I always say is to get out of the way or let go and let God. Like for my house, I really want a house and I really wanted it way back nine years ago, but I just left it to God and I trust him. I got out of the way and let the, the process take place, let God do what he needs to do and it worked out better than I ever dreamed. It would. This is the most beautiful home and I am thankful to God for that. So we're going to affirm right now. I'm going to say it first and if you can remember the words you can say it with me. I trust God therefore I let go and let God. So let's say that together. I trust God therefore I let go and let God. This is a Pivotal, I think, a very important part about trusting God. We have to get out of the way and let God do the work. When we release our burdens to God, we dispel old tension because we let go and let God. And by proclaiming that we trust in God and that He has a power in all situations, as I said before, we are transformed and enriched. By trusting God, we also need to do what needs to be done. We need to pray and believing and having faith that the best outcome will come and follow through all the time with positive words and actions. Like Myrtle Fillmore said, like I did, and I'm sure there's so many examples out there with prayer. Positive words and actions. I saved. I did all the things so that, like, when when the house came to um, manifestation, I had what I needed. Positive words. I just kept affirming. I know it's going to happen. We have to do that for all that we desire to come forth, even in this world. And we have to trust. Say positive words about this pandemic. See the good in all that's happened. Do the actions that will get us to a place that heals our world. Keep doing your parts. For when we do that, we, we release all those challenges and trust in God. For God inspires us to see the good in all things, to see the good in this pandemic, to see the good in our lives, even when someone has passed, whether through COVID or my aunt through, um, it wasn't COVID, um, she was sick with other things, but we still have to trust in God and see the good in all. Well, I've shared another funny story. Um, I always look for the good. So we've had things delivered to the house very interesting that being in the States and having things delivered to your door. Um, living in Bermuda, you don't get that as much. Um, and so a package would come and the box would be beat up. And first thing my husband would say, oh, better take a picture of that because we're probably going to have to send it back because it's probably broken. And I'll say, just bring it inside. We'll open it up and see what's going on, you know. And invariably, Nothing's wrong with the package. Yes, we've had some things damaged, but because I always see the good, I'll call the people and I'll say, hey, this was broken and stuff. And I've already called and had something and I already have the new one. They said, told us throw out that one and get a new one. See the good in all. And, and when we do, we no longer are disturbed by appearances. I was, when I see a beat up box, it doesn't bother me. I just say, open it up and see what's in it. 
because I know it's God is working through me. I know that God is mightily at work bringing forth good in my life and life, the life of so many people. To so trust in God all the time. Know that the law of love and of justice in this world right now with politics all over the place. Know that God is in the midst of all that and trust that the law of love and justice is always at work and can never be thwarted no matter what we see in the news, no matter what we hear. Know that God is at work. And finally, as we close this talk, believe, always have faith, Know that you are a loving, compassionate, peaceful, and forgiving child of God that trusts completely in the spirit within. Just trust. Psalm 37, 3 says, trust in the Lord and do good. So trust in the Lord and do good. So that's read that I'll read a daily word from 1992 I love to share different older ones because many of you might have the daily word all the time but this one's entitled trust and we'll go into um, our meditation right now um, so let's take a deep breath in and allow the spirit of God to be around us and within us Breathe in and out, in and out. No matter what the day demands of us, you are more than equal to it. In all things, you are fortified by God's power within you. In large matters and in small, you are victorious through your steadfast trust in God. Yes, many times we are concerned about the outcome of a situation, but our concern is transformed into confidence through our steadfast trust in God. We ask, am I worried about a dear one and his problems and needs? But our worry is transformed into positive thoughts and feelings through our steadfast trust in God to guide and help those in need of healing. Do we wish that some relationships would be free of friction and misunderstanding but through our steadfast trust in God's love all is transformed our relationships with ourselves and with others trust God's love. Trust God's goodness and trust His Spirit in the midst of all persons and situations. Today and every day be not discouraged by anything or anyone. Through steadfast trust in God, you cannot fail. Breathe in and out. His heart is firm 
trusting in the Lord. Psalm 112, verse 7. Take a deep breath in and out as we slowly come back to this place and this time. And as we close, let me let my dog in to join in the closing of this service. Welcome to the service, Midas. Everyone is waiting for you to come in. As we close the service, we say, My steadfast trust is in God who cannot fail. Say it with me. My steadfast trust is in God who cannot fail. So thank you everyone for being with you. Let the light of God surround you. The love of God enfold you. The power of God protect you. The presence of God watch over you. For wherever you are, God is and all is well. And you are richly blessed right now. Have a wonderful week. Until next week, namaste. And I behold the Christ in you.